photographers. Welcome to the Lentil Region. You'll find a vast array of islands with various natural environments, from dense jungles packed with lush trees to vast scorching deserts. Many wild Pokémon call these islands their home. Let's have a glimpse into these fascinating areas. You'll discover that wild Pokémon have different group behaviors. Oh, aren't they having a delightful time? Those ones appear to be highly protective of their territory. Here in front of this waterfall, a Venusaur is enjoying basking in the sun. Two Sobble are nearby, enticed by the scent of Venusaur's flower. Look, the Sobble playfully spray water on Venusaur and its flower. Venusaur certainly seems to be having a good time. In the warm, shallow waters of the Lentil Seafloor dwell schools of Love Disc, Mantine, Finneon, and Alomomola, all swimming gracefully. Love Disc reside within the coral reef and have already picked their favorite resting spot, right between Corsola's branches. That sure does look comfortable. A flock of drift limbs soar against the stunning backdrop of the Maricopia Reef. <gasps> look closely, and you can spot a drift blim in the group holding a clam pearl. They appear to be getting along famously and enjoying a flight through the skies. Oh, what's this? Drift blim returned clam pearl to its friends. That drift blim seems to be a gentle Pokemon. Pokemon can act differently when the sun goes down. Some may be curled up sleeping peacefully and adorably, might I add, while others might become more active. Let's take a look at how Pokémon behave at night. Here, we see a herd of Bufalant snoozing quite soundly. Oh, a score bunny is running around. I'm a bit worried it might wake Bufalant. The desert sky at night is breathtaking. Look up and you may see shooting stars. Oh, here's one that just fell right in front of us. Why, it's a meteor. This Pokémon's shell shattered when it collided with the ground, revealing its core. Truly a magical sight to behold, isn't it? The trunk of this large tree contains a nest of two cannon. They live nestled closely together, as they are known for forming harmonious couples. Zoom in on the nests, and you'll see that they're resting together with Picky Peck. Nighttime really brings out all sorts of charming moments in this lush ecosystem. Here in their natural habitat, Pokémon exhibit their instinctive behaviors. You might bear witness to the harsh and at times unexpected demeanors of certain Pokémon. Case in point, watch as they lay claim to territory. Chinchou call this beautiful seabed of shining moss their home. They lure other Pokémon with their two glowing antennae then sent electrical currents from the tips of their antenna to paralyze their prey. NK, for instance, was drawn to the light, but instead of falling victim, it made Chinchou fall asleep with hypnosis. Sharpedo swim around freely, shooting jets of water as they maneuver through the ocean. Oh dear, that Sharpedo is chasing Squirtle. I do hope it'll be all right. Ah, oh, just in time! A Lapras has come to its rescue! What a kind gesture from the Lapras! That'll teach Sharpedo! A nighttime battle is taking place between Zangoose and Seviper on Blushing Beach! Which Pokémon will prevail? Zangoose with its razor-sharp claws? Or Seviper with its sword-like tail? There seems to be no end in sight! for this feud that has lasted for generations. These are but a few of the Pokémon habitats you may come across while you're traveling through the Lentil region. What other discoveries might you unearth as you're exploring? New Pokémon Snap Available April 30th, only on the Nintendo Switch system. <laughs>